Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having yourself a great day. Mine's eh, not too bad. I wasn't feeling well this morning, but that's every morning. And I uh, kind of slept in late because my son didn't have to go to school today. And uh, actually doesn't have to go to school Monday either, so I get a break. And uh, I honestly feel like I'm back in school again because I got to get up at like 6.30 every morning and that's not me. I'm not a morning person. But uh, anyways, I thought we would go ahead and open up some official SpongeBob cards. Uh, somewhat official. It's a 50-50. Um, <laughs> these are official. These are from 2013. Um, I've seen these on the internet a lot. And uh, I even found them on eBay in an Italy. You know, if you go on eBay, you can actually change what country you're in. And uh, I, I search off and on to find unique stuff. So uh, originally these are from Italy, but uh, I actually found them on AliExpress. They oddly just recently popped up, although they've been around forever. And so is this company, which is King's Cultural. And uh, these have... Uh, well, they don't have an official logo on them, so I'm not going to give the, you know, 100% on these <laughs> that they're official. I don't believe they are. But however, they have incredible inserts, and that's the main reason I got them. Um, I'd like to uh, be able to get one of them. I actually purchased one separately just because I have no idea what the odds of getting them are. And... Uh, I absolutely love the card, and you'll see why. I also have a bunch from uh, another series that we opened that I'll also leave a link at the end to the unboxing of those. Um, but I wanted to be able to get as many of the insert size as I could because I absolutely love the way they're designed. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, check these out. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to open up uh, both of these boxes, and uh, eventually I'll probably order one of each again to put away in my collection. I try to do uh, one open, one unboxing. That's what I used to do when I used to buy Star Wars figures and all that good stuff. Um, today, we're uh, hoping to have some luck, but if we don't, like I said, I do have one of the inserts that is really cool. I'm hoping to get all of them at some point. But uh, we'll see. They're very difficult to find anywhere other than um, a Chinese website that I go to, which is kind of like their eBay version. And uh, so let's go ahead and open these Italian ones first. I did notice something strange, and I'll have to watch other people's unboxings because, as you can see, there's a dotted line, kind of like a little stab. It almost makes me feel like these were not meant like they're rejects because sometimes if an item is rejected, they'll put a mark on it or do something so you can't resell it. But that wouldn't make sense because this is an actual official product. So I'm not sure why every single one of these has that. But uh, here's hoping the cards that are inside are not damaged. I do know that the ones that are in here are plastic. Um, so I'm hoping that those, and I'm not going to be able to open these. Let me get a pair of scissors. Of course, my favorite pair are not out here. Um, let's see, did I move them? See, I try to clean up. Actually, here's my better ones. I try to clean up, and then I lose things because my brain's used to the being somewhere else. So let's go. Let's see. Has it damaged the hard at all I don't think so which is good but uh, already I like these cards they're similar to the other Chinese ones we've opened in the past that's cute apologize for my I can't get away with having cat hair everywhere we have seven cats and I it's just crazy here is this is an interesting card Um, it looks to be, <laughs> it's a plastic see-through card, but you kind of see Sandy through it. But I think this might be a background card that you do an overlay on, like this. You can kind of do that. But yeah, these are clear ones. Apparently these were for a type of game, because you can see numbers on the sides. So we'll try to separate, but yeah. 
I'm not sure if that's meant to be so that you can see through it, but there's that one. I'm going to separate. And then we have Squidward as Santa Claus. And I'm going to put these, I guess I kind of got to put all these in plastic sleeves at some point because, and uh, my stomach's saying hi. Look at that. It's in uh, Ita Italian. So we're just going to stick that there for now. And get this one open. Ugh, nope. We're going to use scissors. And, ooh, that's a cool one. It's funny, I've seen these designs, like, in lighter sets. It's kind of interesting. That's a lot of glitter on that one. That one's fancy. I like that one. Squidward Tentacles. And then we have this one again. Actually, it's a different background. Yeah, they shouldn't have printed these uh, double-sided plastic cards because the other side shows through. So, yeah. And we have two different Garys. Just are kind of hard to see. So my wrist snaps. Uh, alrighty. Like I said, I've seen this set on eBay. Um, they're really pretty cards, especially boy back in 2013. Um, since apparently he's become very popular in China. Yeah, not a best idea to uh, print on the other side. <laughs> it kind of messes with the front. Here's SpongeBob's house. That's kind of unfortunate. You think they would have noticed that in like a test run? And they're like, oh, I guess we shouldn't do them this way. But uh, maybe that's why I've never seen this card company again um, doing SpongeBob cards. Not that I'm aware anyways. Ooh, that's a cool one. All right, so the thing that's interesting is that these have a foreign language on them other than Italian, but they're Italian cards. So that's quite interesting. That's a thick card. That's really nice. I'm just going to put those all in the same place. But look at that. You can see right through. Not the best card design. Here is a table at the Krusty Krab. We can just sit down there. Wouldn't that be awesome? You could just sit there like an underwater thing and they have a whole land of like SpongeBob underwater. I'm, so, I'm honestly surprised like Universal Studios doesn't have more to do with SpongeBob. Like... I don't know, a more entertaining land. He kind of just gets a generic store slash theme area. Um, that's not that great. I did get to see SpongeBob once when we went, I believe. Um, but uh, I don't think he gets enough, enough love. I'm just going to kind of put these all in similar piles. I always do, I really enjoy... Um, that's pretty blurry and an odd choice of card. <laughs> I'm just going to throw them all in the same piles. They're kind of hard to decipher with the clear. And I'm paying more attention to the cards. There's another really pretty one. Look at that. I like that one. SP05. That's really pretty. Especially with the Chinese New Year that just went by. That's a cool card. Whoa. And here was uh, Pearl Crabs. Looks like uh, she's dressed up as the Bride of Frankenstein. SpongeBob. And another oddly interesting card designs. And here's another one, Miss Puff. And then these are the numbered ones. It's nice to see some characters that don't get as much love. Anchovies um, have their own cards. That's a cool one. Mr. Krabs, he likes. Hello, I like money. 
I like money too. I like lots of money so I can travel before I go completely blind. Uh, it's actually really bad today. And when I get up and had so much trouble just seeing in general, it sucks. Um, I need to see to uh, do the things I would like to. That's why I've kind of started doing more. I have plans to go places before I not be able to enjoy them anymore. With my wife, we have plans. We have a cruise coming up in June. A Disney cruise. And yes, I shall take you along with me. That is a really interesting card. Um, it's supposed to be plankton, but uh, kind of like a an Asian game character, I guess. And that weird cardigan. Cardigan. <laughs> Ooh, bad joke. All right. There. Already, our last one. There weren't really any, you know, crazy inserts in this one. Uh, other than these types of ones. That is such an interesting design. SpongeBob. And here are Gary. Good old Gary, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob! Alrighty. Let me know what you thought of this first series. Do you think you'd like to see more? I do like those. I've always liked the plastic clear cards. It's just, um, they can get scratched very easily. So you really need to put them in some type of sleeves. And then we have these odd backgrounds, which I, I guess you could, I don't know. I've seen other companies do the animation cell idea where they put uh, the character cell on, on the clear plastic ones and then they do a background. Um, and then you can, uh, actually the, there's a Star Wars Family Guy back in the day. Inkworks, I believe is the company that did it. They had uh, cells that just then had backgrounds. So let's go ahead and open this last one here. And... Uh, you get, as with a lot of sets, you get one special pack, and then you get um, the standard cards. So let's go ahead and get these out. It doesn't feel like really heavy, so I'm not thinking that there's any special inserts in this. And I hate to give the information, but I kind of wonder if people don't weigh these boxes um, to get the inserts, because, uh, let's wait till, that's a very light, that's only one card in that, um, but yeah, let's go ahead, I've never opened these before ever, so, this should be interesting, let's see, they are very thick cards, holy shit, there's only two cards per pack, that's kind of crazy, look how thick that is, Wow, that's kind of cool. SSR. And try not to cut the tops on these. There is another official SpongeBob uh, card set that I really want to get. But right now, the one the only one I found listed on AliExpress is $80. And uh, I think it does have a lot of packs in it, maybe 20, but still, that's, that's really more than I want to spend on a SpongeBob box. But uh, it is official, and that's why it costs so much more. So, I guess you really, uh, if, you, if you don't feel more than what it feels like, two cards, then you know you've got an insert. But uh, it's kind of an interesting piece. Part of a puzzle. Interesting. 
I just want the insert um, that I'll show you at the end. They're really, really, really cool. But uh, I don't know what the odds are of actually getting it offhand. This one is sadly off-scented. Cute, though. I like the back of that. That's pretty neat. Um, I'll just stick that one there. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get any major, major hits in this one. And there's another cool one. I do like these um, kind of set up like an animation, like a cart comic book. That's the word I'm looking for. That's very cool. I really like that one. That is cool. Ugh, that messes with my eyes even worse than normal people. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to track down... I'm trying to wait to see if the price goes down a little bit for the other insert that, I, that I'm going to show you. Um, this is quite interesting. That's a cool card, though. Nice. You are... You are so beautiful to me. I can't sing. I always wanted to. I always wanted to be a singer. Because I get all the chicks. Artist, meh, yeah, you know. <laughs> That's really nice. Look at that bad boy. That's a pretty cord. I think a cat is trying to claw its way into my room. You are just going to have to wait. Can't you read the sign on the door? I'm doing a video. I don't think the cat cares. Whoops. Oh, that doesn't belong there. Whatevs. Let's just... And, uh... uh I'll have to see how many cards are in this set, man. Because it'd be hard to finish having uh, cards this thick. There's a background card. That is an SR. So we got quite a... Quite a range. I'm just going to stick that there. But, uh, yeah. You're going to have to wait, cat. And here is another SR. Look at that. Can you see that little squares in the background? That is also on this one. I just didn't notice it at first. And we've got two more packs left, plus the special one. There's that weird one again. And here's another one of those. That's pretty cool. I like that hologram effect. Sorry, a little close there. That's pretty cool. I've seen special inserts for this set. That, uh... Let's get to our last pack. And... Another comic card and this goofy goober, and that is it. However, don't go anywhere yet. I'm gonna show you some cool inserts. Let me clean the table up and let this cat in, and I shall be right back. Alrighty, so I took off the top of this card already, the pack, so I can open it for you. It was our last special insert card, and, uh, well, that's very anticlimactic. That's, <laughs> that's a boring card. Stage, SpongeBob. Okay, well, alrighty, well, let's get on to something more entertaining. Uh, if you've seen my other past videos of Spongebob unboxings, you've probably seen these. I love these. Um, I'm not going to open this one. This is for my collection. There is a long card size. So there's a really long card on this side. And then there's two boxes in here. Right here is where you get some really cool inserts. And uh, after I was able to find them on a Chinese eBay type site i had a friend help me get some of them and so we're gonna take a look at them we're gonna put that there Alrighty. so after that boring card let's take a look at these really cool inserts from the other set as i mentioned they come from this uh series so if you're ever interested in getting these cards look for this series or this box and you shall find them 
They are on AliExpress, and uh, I think they're under $30 right now. And honestly, I think it's it's well worth it. Um, you get some really cool inserts. Um, they include a pin, and then you get this. Uh, these. This would be in a very expensive set in the U.S. if they made these. Um, but I absolutely love them. I went and bought the thickest one touch you can purchase and uh, I'm gonna need to buy a bunch more of these in bulk um, because I want to put all the cards in them. Uh, I think they look a lot nicer and it protects them and uh, so there's that one and we have many more to look at. I really like these cards. Anything shiny gets my attention. I think that's really cool. So here is our next one. There are some other ones I still would like to try to finish this set off if I can get the rest of them. Um, I, I've seen them, I just need to get help getting them. So a nice plankton, kind of being all sexy and all. And that's what the back of the card looks like, by the way. And uh, they're all pretty much the same, just different colored backs. I think these are so cool. And I like to see random characters. You know, you don't usually always see the background characters get love. Here's the doctor. And Squidward and um, SpongeBob. I was trying to think, um, there is one, uh, a famous scene, you know when Spongebob is jumping, um, or Squidward from the, um, intermission band from the Super Bowl type thing, they have that card also, so I want to get that one. I think there's a Santa Claus one too. There's so many card, cards to keep up with, it's hard to remember them all. Especially with the way my brain is, but there is a lot of SpongeBob sets. That's really cute. I like Sandy. I'm actually working on a painting of Sandy for another YouTuber. He collects uh, SpongeBob stuff also, and I just thought he would enjoy it in his collection. So I'm gonna, you'll see it on my channel soon. I'm gonna work on it shortly. I just had to catch up on everything in life. Life likes to throw me a lot of curves, and I do my best to manage. <laughs> and apparently someone did something to uh, offend the mom. It's her name, Karen. Uh, I probably feel bad for anyone named Karen. I actually had a friend named Karen where I worked once, but uh, she was nice. <laughs> so that's cool. And this last one. So, uh, yeah, so if you're looking for any of these, which I absolutely love, I know I'm sure kids would definitely love them, and I'm a big grown-up kid, so so if you're looking for them, this is what you want to look for. Here's the front of the box, and the back is just the back of SpongeBob. All right, so we are going to take a look at a insert from this series. And we didn't get it. And honestly, um, I'm not sure how honest people are, especially these days, but I'm pretty sure you could either weigh this box or you could use a metal detector to find this insert that I'm going to share with you. Which is unfortunate, because then it doesn't give people the fun. And no, I'm not giving ideas to people. It's been a known thing. So anyways, here is the back of the card. As you can see, it is, I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic because it was a bitch getting in here. I gotta find, I'm trying to find a um, one touch to put it in, um, but it's an odd size, so I'm not 100% certain it's gonna fit in it. But anyways, as you can see, it's got the Van Gogh-ish style. And if you know me, I'm a huge fan of Van Gogh's work, or Van Gogh, however you wanna pronounce it. So here, Drum roll, please, is the card I wish I pulled myself, but I had a friend get it for me. Boom. Look at that. As you can see, 
It is a metal framed card done in the Van Gogh style or Van Gogh. And it has gold highlights, which is just incredible. I absolutely love this card. There are more. There's, um, SpongeBob is the most expensive one, but I'm going to try to get it anyways. I mean, it, it's funny to see some of the prices on this website because if they were on our eBay, we would be scarfing everything up. But, um, it's just, um, having helped get them is the problem sometimes. But, uh, I absolutely love this card. And uh, I'll show you pictures of the other ones over here. If I can remember to find them, there are a few of them. And they're absolutely beautiful. I think this is so cool. So uh, let me know what you think of these. I, I absolutely, when I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, I got to get these. So um, I believe there's a Mr. Krabs and his daughter. And then um, I know there's a SpongeBob one. So, uh, yeah. It's hard to find the information on some of these sets because they're not necessarily official. So trying to find the odds or the inserts is a challenge sometimes. So I try to do all that work for you so you can decide whether you want to purchase something. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, any funds that we get on this channel will go toward getting more stuff and doing giveaways for you all. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my stuff. I know there's so many other things to watch online, but uh, I'm an honest person. I do my best to entertain, and uh, I found some great friends with uh, people on YouTube and such. So uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe, like my videos, and stay tuned for the next one. See ya. Bye-bye.